Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day four of the November Leak Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm or just in general. Uh, and today's farm is minimum height trees. Okay, so what is this? A tree is a. Okay, I know what a tree is. Okay. Those are the minimum height as a minimum height tree. Okay, so then you can take any edge. Um, you can return the answer in any order. Return list of all of the labels. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let me think about this for a second. Um. I mean, I think, so, the, the thing to notice is that, you know, on the longest path on a tree, it's going to be something that's, um, well, th the first, first thing to notice is that, uh, you know, you could do an n square, but n in this case is 2 times 10 to the 4th, so 10 square is going to be too slow. It is a tree, though, but, uh, and the second thing to notice is that it's going to be on the longest path, given the longest path, you take the middle node or the middle two nodes, and that will be, uh, and those two nodes should be good enough. So there should be at most two nodes to the answer, uh, because because yeah, because it's a tree. So you know, so it can be. Um, so that's the uh, answer. Um, hmm. I have to think about how to implement that correctly so finding the the longest path in a tree which is also known as the diameter of a tree that's kind of uh, a self problem you basically um and if you don't know it don't feel too bad because it's kind of like i don't know it's just really hard to prove by yourself i mean maybe it makes sense but i don't know it's just something that over time you pick it up um and because it's a known-ish problem maybe not well known but known enough so if you don't know it don't feel that bad but you know uh, it's called the diameter of a tree, and you could do it with two depth first search. Um, you just do a depth first search from any node, and then you do a second depth first search from the farthest node, and then that longest path will be it. Um, so yeah, so I think I'm just going to do that. Um, I have to kind of do double check some math to make sure that it's good. I might have to play around some edge cases, but I think the idea is around that. Um, so first, let's just say, you know, we have a depth of search, we have a node, we have a parent. Uh, this is how I write my tree-based depth of search. Um, I also write maybe, um, eh, depending on how I want to do it. Uh, let's just say distance is equal to infinity times n uh, let's just do this and then what is edges it's just an edge list right oh, okay wait oh no these are just edges so I have to so I want to put it into an edge list this is literally a list of edge I want to put in an adjacency list is what I mean um so uh, let's just say adjacency this is you go to collections dot default dig of of list and then for you we in edges uh, adjacency list of you is you go to, uh, append of we and also the same going that other direction uh, now I have that for search we want for as neighbor but for v in adjacency list of node if v is not parent then we do a depth search on v with node as the parent right something like that but we have to kind of figure out how to do the distance so that's basically it um yeah okay so let's just do distance. Oh, we, we already did distance, but let's put it closer to the code. Um, so let's call it current distance, maybe. So distance of node is equal to current distance. 
and this is just current distance plus one, right? And then now we get we we get the farthest node, so um, so max of distance. Oops. Uh, so farthest distance as you go to this thing. Uh, well, after we we could we can use it on any node, so we're just going to write zero farthest distance, and then we get the farthest node. So farthest node is equal to um, x in for x in to the uh, let's just do enumerate max x, and we just want the index for which um, if x is equal to furthest distance, right? And we basically, we want this to a list and then the first element. They should always ha have one element. Um, and then we do it again from the furthest node. Furthest node, negative one, zero. And again, we set distance as you go to infinity times n. So we do this thing. Um, we want to keep the furthest distance because it should, oh no, no, we don't. Um, so we do this thing, and then now we are, so each candidate will be, each candidate will be uh, the furthest distance over two nodes away, right? So uh, if, mm, yeah, I mean, that that's right. But I, I, I feel like, that may still be a little bit messy. So let me think about this for a second uh, because we still have to narrow it down a little bit, right? Because there could be many uh, entries with furthest nodes, um, but not all of them will be rooted in a tree. Um, I think it has to be on the path to the, to, um, the, the, the distance. So, mm hmm. So, huh. I mean, there, there are a couple of ways to do it. So I'm, I'm just thinking about, oh, basically, that I, we can either keep track by keeping track of a, uh, the parent, or we can keep track by, I don't know, some kind of maths. Uh, I'm just gi giving a quick thought to think about uh, which way I'm uh, wanting to do it. Um, but... Hmm. But yeah, so we have, yeah, this is, let's just say this is the diameter. Let's go to this thing. And then, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Actually, I think mm, I think we could keep use uh, uh, take account. We could keep track of the earlier distance as you go to. Uh, let's keep a copy of it, and then all we have to do now is for an answer is you go. Let me see if this is right first. I'm not sure. Let me think about this. But for index and range of n. Um, if the distance from this index is equal to the earlier distance, that quite earlier distance, something like that, of index, and the distance of index is plus earlier distance. is equal to diameter. Uh, if this is the case, then we want to make that part of the answer. Otherwise, if um, the absolute value of the distance if this is 1, then n, the distance of index plus uh, this thing again is equal to diameter. 
So if only one of these can be true, I guess, because it depends on uh, whether whether the diameter is odd or even. Uh, but basically, this is saying that you know we we took an earlier distance, right? Uh, the first time we won the loop. If during that first time in the loop, it is equal to the distance of this loop, that means that it is the same uh, distance. And if they add up to be the diameter, then then it then you know this index is the root, right? Because um, because that means that from this node, you have these two points, and and uh, um, that it is the same distance from the zero node and the and one of the root nodes, right? Uh, or sorry, one of the uh, leaf nodes, which is what what you get with the farthest node. Uh, I, and and yeah, and I think that's the idea that I would call. It. I don't think I'm explaining that well. Let me, so I could visualize it a little bit. Let, let me run the test to make sure that I'm right first. Otherwise, it's just a little bit awkward if it turns out to be wrong. Uh, but Ooh. earlier distance. Whoops. And not I think I misspelled diameter in some places. Is it? Huh. Yeah, it's a big E. <laughs> Man, where do I keep on putting earlier distance? Earlier distance, previous distance. Um, let's give it a go. Oof. Hmm. Why is this zero one two? Uh, hmm. Let me look at my code real quick. Is, it, is this one of the examples? I feel like this. No, it's not. But it's three node as zero one and zero two. So this looks like is there now? There's no visualization. Um, and the answer, well, there has to be an answer, obviously. So my answer is just wrong. Um, hmm. Why is that? Let me print it out real quick, the distance. Okay, so at least there's something. So it's not wrong. Wait, what why is this two? Oh yeah, uh because because um it probably just took one of the leaf notes, which is true. Yeah, so it's zero one one. So, so zero should be good because this is equal to one and zero plus one is equal to diameter. Am I off by one? Hmm. Maybe I'm off by one. That's odd. No, I mean, zero plus one is definitely not going to be the diameter. Why? Hmm.
that looks okay. I mean, it's getting the correct farthest node. So. Hmm. Oh, I, I'm being dumb. Uh, so what I did was, was that for here, I've gotten... So actually, okay, now I think I will kind of remember what I wanted to do, but I kind of got confused between two things I wanted to do, which is that, um, so the, for the diameter of a tree, you use two depth of search, right? Um, so now what I want to do is use um, three depth of search so that... Um, so then, you know, like, so now we have two nodes and then um, two leaf nodes that are like on the opposite side of the tree. So then we want to construct um, a node that is the same distance uh, between the two nodes, right? The two farthest two nodes. So we actually, we want to do this three times. Uh, I think that's why I got a little confused because I was confusing of the algorithm of the tree. So then we do this and then now we do this again with the farthest distance and the farthest node. Um, and then now we take we keep track of the earliest distance. Um, we do it again, and then this should work. Okay. And I'll explain it again. Sorry. Um, let me just make sure that it works before I explain it. Maybe that. Yeah. Okay. So I confused myself a little bit because the the standard algorithm for a diameter tree is just you take any node. You go one depth of search to get one of the leaves, and then you go do a depth of search again to get another, like the opposite side of the, the tree. And then that those are the two opposite sides of the tree, right? So basically what I want to do here is for for these two two farthest nodes, um, we want to go, okay, now we have two opposite sides of a tree. We want to see what's in the middle, right? And that's basically what, what I have here. I I have the two farthest node earlier distances, the distance to one of the leaves, distance to one of the leaves, and distance to the other leaf, right? So now you have two opposite sides of the, the tree. We want to look at the middle, right? And in, in the middle, if the two distances are the same, that means that it's literally in the middle and that they add up to the diameter just because it could be, you know, um, then it has to be in the middle or if they are different by one and they add up to the diameter because if you have uh, an odd number, for example, if you, the distance is nine, then you want to know that's four from one and five from the other. Uh, that's all I have for this one. So the what's the complexity, right? Well, we do three depth first search, so it's going to be linear because each depth first search is linear. Uh, in terms of space, it's going to be O of D for the number of edges uh, or it'll be O of V plus G for the depth of search to be more specific, O of G for the space and also O of V for um, the space. So it's going to be O of V plus G space and O of V plus G uh, running time, both of which are linear uh, in terms of the size of the input. Uh, so yeah, um, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, let me know what you think. It's tricky. I like it, but I, I don't know if there's a more standard part, way of solving this, to be honest, but that's the way that I think about it. Uh, and it's a little bit messy, to be honest, for, for a problem that maybe is not that hard. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Let me take a peek at the solution, actually, and then maybe we could go over it together if it's too drastically different. Um, so that we could all learn together. Is a graph problem? Yes, yes, yes. Topological sorting. Hmm. Centaur. I mean, it's not really top. I don't know. Okay, there's too much to read on this one. So, um... Okay, so I have to kind of read it another time. But yeah, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.